before you retire. Alan Jerkins, for you, and a half name, um, Wagon Limit, run up against Gentleman and them, skip away. Hmm. It was the Jackie Gold Cup in Belmont, man. And this fucker come out of the clouds with this horse, man. He come out of the clouds. Mud, a lot of mud on him, man. And past gentleman and skip away in the, in the home stretch. One million dollar race. Mm. After that, he retired. So that was his last race? Yeah. When you go ask him. Robbie Davis, huh? Yeah. Last race. His last race. Wagon limit for Alan Jerkins. Yeah. I, um, them days I've been in, um, in California. We sit in Hollywood Park Kitchen. And we watched watch that, that that race, man. Because them days it was gentleman, skip away, um, devil is due. It was some good, good grade one horses, you know, competing. Being wrong this time with Eddie Maple and them, you know. You know. Shoemaker and all these yeah, guys. Yeah, man, he been around, man. Cordero. Yeah, like his son, his son, um, Dylan, Dylan Davis. Yeah. All he got to do is listen to his father, and he be probably coming to be a price rider, man. Guys, the sweet thing about this type of life, when you see like how he's sitting back now and looking at races, he's seeing more than when he was there. Mm. You know what I mean? So he could reflect it to his son. And his daughters. Yeah, he got a daughter that I ride to. I ain't seen her in a while. You know? That's a riding family, you know what I mean? I respect that. <laughs> Alan That's why they call huh? him the giant killer. The giant killer they call yeah, him? Yeah, man, because of what he did to Secretariat right here. You don't you don't remember that I said this which past champions are create or champions fall? The graveyard of <laughs> champions. <laughs> This is the place here, man. And somebody said that. They said he beat Secretary. People don't tell you that story, mm -hmm. man. Because everybody, I love the Big Red, but when Alan Jerkin stopped me with Onion right here, so it was a shocker. You know, it was yeah. a shocker. They didn't expect he to do that. And that's how we get a name, the Giant Killer. You know? uh, what, kind of, what, what kind of man was Mr. Jerkins? Well, honest and truly, you, I can't go into that detail because all I used to say is good morning, hello, you know what I mean? But just from, just from a racetrack perspective. Just from a racetrack, one of the best that done it, you know? He's a Hall of Famer, you know? You see, they got a race here in his name, right? Yeah. You don't find trainers today like that style, you know what I mean? What kind of style was that? Hmm? What kind of style he had? Well, he tried to get the best of people work with him. You know what I mean? And try to produce the best the best horses out there. I mean he win no triple crown and all that thing, but his big his big name was when he stopped taking the rap with onion. <laughs> that's a big deal though. <laughs> that's a big <laughs> That's a big that's man. A, that's man. a big deal. Huh? That's a huge deal. Sure do, man. <laughs> sure do. Wayne Lucas is another one I, I, I hear a lot about. Huh? I hear a lot about Wayne Lucas, too. Well, that's which part you go, to Hot Spring. Because he got stories he could tell you, too. Like, he blessed, you know what I mean? He dealt in his in his 80s and he still look like young he could still get any pony and do what he used to doing way back in his day Damn. so what you what you said to that you take good care of yourself mm. you know see in this business to stick around for a long time you got to take good care of yourself you know that's why gonna keep you around for a long time it's how you take care of yourself is where you're gonna gain the long run you know? i proud to be 64 years old you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I wanted to see many more, you know? Mm -hmm.